real quick recap what's going on. You know the deal right now. The Princess of Wales has been MIA for months since the palace announced she would undergo some type of planned abdominal surgery. And they said she would not resume her royal duties until after Easter. And we're not there yet. The timeline raised some concern at that time, but just for her health and well-being. Then Mother's Day in the UK rolls around recently and the royal social media account posted that infamous now family picture that immediately raised eyebrows thanks to the many obvious edits in that photo. Kate apologized. There's more suspicious things, including the video here, the supposed sighting at the farmer's market over the weekend where she was spotted. But then rather than closing the case on her condition, well, it just fueled more speculation and more social media conspiracy theories with some people adamant, there's no way that's her. Others say it absolutely is her. So which is it? The team from TMZ taking a closer look at the mystery with a new special called Where is Kate Middleton? We might not know, but we know where Harvey Levin is this morning. He's with us. Executive producer Harvey joins us now live this morning. This is a quick turnaround on your part, Harvey, to get this out there. No, it was a very quick turnaround, Steve, that's for sure. Look, we went into this thing with an open mind. Um, we just didn't know what was true and what wasn't. Here's how I come out of it. I do not believe the palace at all, and I'll tell you why. Number one, you go back to Christmas, and there was a motorcade that mysteriously left the place William and Kate and the family were staying. And then you see what appears to be that same motorcade with an ambulance rolling up to the clinic, this small clinic where Kate supposedly spent 13 days. If this is planned abdominal surgery, why is she being rushed by ambulance two weeks before the surgery to the hospital? Number two, why did William only visit her once in 13 days, as far as we know? That leads me to the Mother's Day picture, which you mentioned. Everybody knows this is a ridiculous photo. It was edited 16 times. There is no way on God's green earth that they didn't notice that Kate did not have her wedding ring on. She had it on the year before. Why didn't she have her wedding ring on? They clearly saw that, so that was intentional. And then you look at her face in that picture. My God, her face looks full and healthy. When you look at the video we got over the weekend at this grocery store, she is way thinner than that. We talked to Piers Morgan, who said he has talked to the staff, some of the staff at the place where William and Kate live. And they said at the time this Mother's Day photo was taken, she was so much thinner. Her face was so much thinner. So what did they do? Why did they change it? That's not her in real time. You look at the photo we got of her and William leaving um, or, or driving in a car. Right. You look through the window of the car and you see bricks on the wall behind them. And then you look from outside the car, the bricks don't match. The inside doesn't match the outside. There are so many things that just don't add up that I am just not buying what the palace is saying. Harvey, I went to an event last night here in D.C., a great event honoring Sir Elton John, and there were a lot of important people there. And, and this came up in conversation, right? And I actually ran into some people from the British Embassy, and I said, you know, do you guys have any inside knowledge on this? And they said, unfortunately, no. We're getting the questions everybody else is getting. I also talked to some PR pros, and they said, listen, at the very least, this was a PR disaster on the part of the palace, right? But then others said, Harvey, that maybe the release of that video, the far market video, was kind of a soft launch into actually seeing her make a statement in the near future. Do you believe that? Well, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, I kind of do believe that. I believe that that is, even though Charles was on your show and said, I don't believe this photo is real, <laughs> um, I believe that it's, He's screaming, that's not what I said. <laughs> okay, now he's all, you know, I just triggered him. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Charles to settle um, down back there, Harvey. <laughs> um, look, I mean, when... Did you, <laughs> right, listen, Harvey, here's I the deal. I really, I really triggered him. <laughs> look, I think that they went there knowing that people were going to take the video because it's just too perfect. Yeah. Her gait is strong, she's smiling. So I think this was intentional. The problem is a lot of people don't even believe this video is real because their credibility is just shot. So many questions. Harvey, here's the deal. You take care of Charles. Uh, my producer's going to get on <laughs> me if I keep talking to you right now. We're all going to watch this special. I always appreciate talking to you. Go give Charles a hard time for the rest of us. Thank you, my friend.